hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so today's video idea came across me a couple days ago and it's something i f i love to talk about something i feel passionate on and i thought well, why not sit down and do a video it'll be a little bit more of a chattier sit down video so without talking anymore let's just get on into the video so as you can tell by the title of the video it's hi <laughs> you are so cute i love you it's gonna be so distracting having her up here i mean look at her you are the cutest okay so hazel's gonna be kind of in this video i guess she wants to help so as you can tell by the title of the video i'm going to be talking about my opinion on love um if love is a feeling or if it's a choice so for me personally my opinion is that love is more of a choice than it is a feeling i think that there are definitely feelings that come along with being in love with someone and i think it's more so choosing to love that person through the good and the bad um it's choosing to stand by them through any little argument that you have. Um, you know, when you spend more time with a person, you pick up on their different qualities and you know, everyone is different. People have some qualities that annoy you and there are other really great qualities that you absolutely love about the person. So for me, it all comes down to the fact that you have to choose to love this person every single day of your life. But once the honeymoon phase ends, and the newness wears off, that's typically when people start to think, I don't think I feel in love with this person anymore. I don't think I'm in love with them. And I think that if it's the right relationship for you, I think if you both bring out the best in each other, if you're both just trying to work through whatever you're going through, I, I think that there's no reason to quit in it. Of course, if you're in a toxic relationship, I don't think that this is the best advice. I don't think that you should continue to put yourself in that situation and love the person if they're treating you so poorly if they're putting you down um if it's a toxic relationship so if it's a toxic relationship i'm not saying to just stay in that relationship and choose to love that person no matter what trust me i've been there um i was in a toxic relationship it was not good from almost the very beginning and um I think that that's a situation where this doesn't really apply. I'm not an expert on love. I, I don't consider myself an expert at all, but I'm just saying my thought and my opinions. Um, but yeah. So a good thing my dad taught my sister and I is the verse, 1 Corinthians 13, 4. I think that's what it is. Let me find it real quick. Yeah, 13, 4, 1 Corinthians 13, 4. So it's the verse, you know, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. So at the time, my dad had us put the person that we were dating, put their name in place of love. So I'm going to use Chase right now. So Chase is patient, Chase is kind, he does not envy, he does not boast, Chase is not proud. And, you know, it goes on and on. But for that little part, it really helped open my eyes at the time when I was dating that person that they did not meet hardly any of these qualities, none, nothing of what love is. They did not meet that. It was solely feelings. And that was the hard truth of it all was that, you know, this was solely my feelings. I got all caught up in the moment, the newness of the relationship. Um, so yeah, to sum everything up, like what I've been talking about basically is that I believe love is a choice, feelings come along with that, but feelings also come and go. And it's basically all about who you wanna spend your life with, who your best friend is, and who you just see yourself raising a family with, getting a house, going grocery shopping with, cleaning with, um, just all that. So basically my thing is don't give up on something that is so good just because you have a rough day you guys have an argument maybe here and there it's not something to give up on because feelings are going to fade they're going to come and go but you're always going to love that person for who they are and i think that that's important to remind yourself so that's i don't know if any of that made sense but i'm just gonna hope 
Um, but I also wanted to get into how I knew Chase was the one for me. Um, for anyone who's like questioning, because for me, I was so uncertain. Um, but that's because I had put myself in a few relationships before Chase that were not um, the best for me and they did not help me grow in a positive way. They didn't show me on what a relationship should look like. So um, if you just want a little insight into that, then I will start going into that now. So for me, one of my relationships, the biggest one that taught me the most um, was that you should always, of course, you know, I just jumped right into this one, um, but obviously get to know the person before you get in a relationship with them because it can be very deceiving the first couple weeks, you know, when they treat you like exactly how you want to be treated. They make you feel like the most special person in the world. And then, you know, after those couple weeks fade, they start to show their true colors. If, you, if you've been in that situation, you know, it sucks because you already built that bond with them. You already know that they are capable of treating you well. Um, and so when they start to not, you're just like waiting, hoping that that time comes back that they will treat you well again. Um, so that relationship taught me so much. Um, uh, it was one of the most painful ones that I've ever been through and still working through. But I think with time, it, again, it's taught me the most and it showed me that Chase was the one for me because he was absolutely everything the opposite of what that relationship was. So I'm not gonna go into details, but I'm just going to talk about the main things that stuck out to me in my past relationship and then with the relationship with Chase. So this relationship specifically, um, I did not feel loved. I did not feel important. I felt alone most of the relationship. I constantly felt like I was trying to be there for the other person I was just there at a convenience when they needed me the most and when I needed someone it was just sometimes they were there sometimes they weren't it was a very toxic relationship it was not healthy and I put myself through it for a much longer period of time than I should have but again if you've been in a toxic relationship you know it's very hard to get out of that and you know I could go more into toxic relationships I've got a lot to talk about but um basically that one was just not good for me at all and I knew that and I just think I was so stuck on helping that person work through whatever they were going through and I just lost myself and how to care for myself because I was constantly putting that person before me so when I met Chase um he he was the exact opposite he was you know everyone says that they have a type that they're going for and you know i was like no i don't have a type like i don't care i don't have a type i met chase and i realized that maybe i do have a type because he was the complete opposite he he was like someone don't don't worry don't don't be offended chase um but he was like someone that i would consider a friend like i thought when he asked to hang out that we were going to be friends because you know I at the time was not looking to get in a relationship and he was again someone that was just different than who I would normally go for um <laughs> it sounds so bad but honestly like I don't know it was just anyways moving on so right off the bat I wasn't looking for anything he was different in the best way so I'll be honest, I, I pushed Chase away because I did not think I deserved him. I wanted him to be with someone who had it all together, someone who wasn't dealing with anxiety and depression, someone who wasn't constantly stressed out all the time, um, wasn't dealing with trust issues, wasn't dealing with, you know, emotional abuse and all of that, and just someone who had it all together. So I just did not think that he was ready to be with someone like me. I just, I wanted him to find someone better. And something that immediately drew me in, that immediately told me he was the one for me was the fact that he never gave up. He never stopped fighting for me. He was he was relentless. Like I just he had every reason to leave. Like he could have left and he didn't. He 
he did not stop. He was very persistent in getting me back and just telling me that he was gonna be there for me to work through whatever I needed to go through. Um, that I just, I told him I needed to work on myself and getting over my past relationships. And he said, let me be there. Let me be that person for you while you're going through this. I love you, I want to take care of you. And I wanna see you through all of this. And I was just like, what? Like you are exactly someone that I dreamed about, someone that I never thought would even exist because it is just too perfect. And it's just, I, <laughs> I was not used to that. Like literally I was used to like, you can drive me here. You can drive me there. Do you want to pay for this? Do you want that? I was like, you taking care of me? I'm always taking care of everybody else. I wanted someone to fight for me. I didn't want someone to give up so easily. You know, like people had in the past. It just, it made me feel important for the first time in a very long time. I felt like I mattered to the person that I was in a relationship with. And they proved that to me constantly. It was not just talk he was action he put you know his words into action so that was just one of the things and then everything else just fell into place i think that you should feel loved and um, beautiful and wonderful every single day and chase does that our relationship is not perfect i'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's all fairy tales all the time but we do have our arguments we do have our days where it's just like we just need a second like we just need a little bit of space um so no relationship is perfect and we both had our doubts we've both been worried that you know maybe this isn't for us but it's just the fact that we can always come back together to each other so we work it out we talk it through um i'm gonna cry but he has never made me feel like i am not good enough and that's something that I've struggled so hard with in my past relationships is I was just brought down and made fun of all the time and just not treated like I was worthy of anything. And he makes me feel like that every single day, you know, with the littlest things like a good morning text or like if it's supposed to rain that day one, one day I was like telling him I was on my way to work that I didn't have an umbrella and it was supposed to rain and I have to, you know, drive back and forth for my job. So I'd be out carrying stuff. And he was there in the parking lot with an umbrella for me for the day. Like it's the littlest things that he does that proves to me every single day that he loves me and that he's caring for me. And that hasn't stopped since the day I met him. And I think that that is the most important thing in a relationship is do not stop chasing after the person that you want to be with. Relationships and love is hard, hard work. And I'm just starting out. I have so much more to learn, but I'm already learning that this is a huge commitment. And when you find that person, you don't quit. You just, you just don't. And I was in the beginning and I hate that I was but I had someone who was strong enough to say, no, we're gonna keep going. And that is all that I have, because I could go on and on. If you guys wanna see more videos about like relationships, um, past relationships, um, you know, how to work through and get out of a toxic relationship, just let me know. I'm very passionate about talking about that stuff. I'm talking too much. I even got off on a tangent. So yes, love is your choice. There are feelings that still come along with it, but the newness wears off, but don't stop fighting for the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Um, and as for toxic relationships, I think it's important to step back and reevaluate your relationship. Feeling loved, do you still feel important? Do you feel beautiful? Um, are you spending your time crying more than you are laughing? And it's just, you know, I could go on about that, but. Again, this is not for people who are in a toxic relationship. I am not saying to stay and choose to love the person who is abusing you, who is hurting you, who is just bringing you down. That is not the person to stay with. And I hope that you're able to get out eventually in your own way. And, you know, some people are like, you have to get out now. Like, you have to do it now. And it takes time. And that's understandable. I understand that. But again, yeah, the first, first Corinthians 13, 4, try that out. Hopefully that'll give you some direction. I think that that was a great tool that I was able to use. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry it's a little long and chatty, but I hope that you still enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.